All right, so let's revisit our current analysis of, of uh, sort of look into the process of how we uh, dial in our approach and our swing mechanics at the same time, how we uh, constantly approve and to make an adjustment, make adjustments, I should say. So season open up, uh, scouts, obviously, not, not in the building because we're out of, uh, you know, high school games. And we're a little antsy. We want to do some damage. And lo and behold, we do damage. This is a monster home run to right, right center. Um, it's a breaking ball, and it's hit 400 plus feet. Just leaves the park, leaves the field on the way up into the trees. You know, uh, everybody at the field, you know, mouths open like, wow. Like everybody knows he's a, a top prospect. Everybody knows the scouts are there for him. And man, he delivered. Um, and I should uh, point out, you know, this is Sammy. And I know Sammy very, very well. And, you know, care about Sammy. And, and, and Sammy, uh, Sammy is a, a very diligent worker and a smart kid. And this isn't uh, harsh feedback. This is the reality of what's going on. And this is how we work together. Okay, so yes, it's super impressive and like, wow, but I'm going to point out how he's really getting exposed here. Obviously, he's out front. It's a breaking ball, but there's something else going on that is pretty telling. And despite it's obvious that he gets very far forward, he's not really preparing to do good things. You see, he's preparing, for me, what I think is preparing to turn. And so he is carrying his weight forward and turning, carrying his weight forward and turning. That's what he's preparing to do. And it shows his face here with this sort of what I call down through, down across the ball, this down through slashing swing. He's not, he's not continuous. He's not smooth. He's not deep. He is two parts. He's stride out and then muscle. And, you know, that showed its face elsewhere on that day. You know, we're too good for this. You don't miss your pitch. He sees this ball well. This ball is elevated. This ball is another homer. And what we got, we got a little, little wobble there. And then we're just going forward again. We're going forward to turn. We're turning. And we're really swinging with our arms. It's pretty obvious. Um, you know, this isn't, I'm not exposing the kid. This isn't anything that, you know, scouts watching, you know, ooh, you know, they like the athleticism. There's things to like, obviously. He's great. He can really hit and he competes. But it's like, yeah, we don't like to see. We like to see it is it, right? Great swing quality is obvious. It's sudden. It's smooth. It's fast. This is fast. This is athletic. Um, and, and Sammy has been better and will adjust and, and he will be better. So what's going on? The, the arms are sort of coming unglued a little bit and he's swinging the arms around, trying to do a little too much, I think. Okay, so that's, that's game one. We got a homer, a big bomb. A big old bomb for the scouts over the season. We had a, m a missed opportunity, I think, there. All right. Let's take a second before we look ahead. Let's compare to our best. This is the last game before the offseason in the fall when he really opened a lot of eyes. This is where Sammy is when he's got his timing dialed in and he's staying within himself. This is a absolute shot. Several rows deep into the cars to deep right center field. Smooth, continuous, effortless. The bat takes off it just takes off on them up through the baseball the backside just automatically automatically fires when his hands fire he's not turning his body and muscling the bat around much different behind view showing the same things smooth controlled timing the pitch the bat just taking off his backside, his body reacting to the bat, immediately unloading behind through the ball. Look at the bat path. We talk about swinging the arms around the body. The bat path here is very telling. 
Look how well he's getting the bat in the zone. The bat is in the zone so deep. He's catching that ball. He's catching that ball. He's not swinging his body. He's not aggressively swinging his arms. This bat is taken off on him. Beautiful arc to the swing. The bat is just taking off. He's swinging from way back here. He has the energy stored in that leg, and boom, it takes off. Boom, it takes off. All right, that's his best. So we compare to our best. And this analysis would get very long if I was comparing to, let's say, some of the, the better hitters in the game currently at the big league level. But that's where this process, this happens by comparing to the likes of Adrian Gonzalez. We're looking at the greatest hitters and, and working towards them. We're not looking at... Exit velocity on our production. This ball is smoked. This is a two-strike breaking ball uh, adjustment home run. The ball's launched. If we're if we're if we're assessing our improvement by our production, there's absolutely nothing to adjust. I went big fly. But compare this move. Compare this move. And this is all within our control. Compare this move and what he's prepared to do to this move. Significantly different. This one's prepared to be deep. This one's prepared. This swings, this swings in his hands. He's not muscling this. He's not diving. This swing is significantly different significantly different way more control not even close this is out of control forward out of control forward arm swing okay and the point is you can have a monster result like that last home run from a not good swing and what happens is the swing quality shows its face elsewhere. It shows its face in missed opportunity. Out of control forward, turning. Swinging the arms around the body. Just watch the arms just travel completely across the body. Just completely across the body to try and get to the ball. The arms are outside the body to the left side. Outside the body, left side, all the way to contact. That is, that is completely different movement, okay? So we're not resting on our production. We are, we're a top prospect. We can hit and compete. If we just, if, if, we, if we hold no standard, we'll just do this. We're still gonna hit 500, and we're still gonna hit a ton of bombs. Come on. You have to have a, a, a greater standard to, to approach. You have to want more. And, and that's what he's going to do. So again, showing how that same, this is no adjustments made. This is the very next game, no adjustments made. Just like, all right, it's early. So let's see if get, him get his timing. A lot of scouts on site here. Already has a triple under his belt today to start the game. Smoked a ball. He's a great hitter and an athlete. But you can see the hands just dart, dart right at it. Cutting down through, cutting down through. Swinging across the ball. No shot. Terrible. This isn't... By the way, I know the pitcher. Great pitch, Justin. These two train together. These two train together. And now I'm blowing up their spot on, on, on Twitter. Uh, it's pretty funny. Go ahead, Justin. You can give. Go ahead and tell Sam about it. This is brutal, right? You're too good for that, and that's not going to stay that way for long. Because uh, number number eleven here is a, a a very poised and disciplined and advanced hitter, and he will adjust. He makes adjustments. Uh, he's you know trying to put on a little bit of a show, 
And he knows it right away. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just hacking, man. I need to, I need to get work. I need to get to work. Um, so that, that's, that should, you know, that'll happen. You'll take bad swings, but that, that's certainly a little too, uh, too far on that side of the spectrum for us. We need to be doing better than that. Here, here is again the same movement quality we're going to be exposing. Just out of control forward, arms doing it, going at the ball. Just brutal. And certainly, uh, again, uh, this isn't Justin, so I won't um, highlight the pitcher, but, you know, this is super slow mo pitching. Sam has played at a, a level of competition where the speed of the pitch uh, sort of, you, you don't have, really have this much time. He's maybe not used to having this much time. He's used to being swinging already, but he's certainly not. He is just carrying it forward and unloading everything. Not going to do it. And this was runners in scoring position. So that's the same exact loading process as the monster home run. Why would I make an adjustment? Well, because you're exposed. So here's a very hittable pitch with, with runners on. And we got the same movement, turning, 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 just turning the body. Well, that's what happens when you are long and down through the baseball. You miss balls. It should be homers. Or certainly just barrels, balls that are driven. Long arm swing, over-athleting, trying to do too much. Certainly we can still like a lot of what's going on, but we have to appreciate that this is not going on. This is the end of midseason form. This is after the summer on the circuit. This is the fall in Jupiter against very good competition. This is where you have to be dialed all the way in to compete. This is where this is where you are. Get your timing. Get get your get your process down. This is staying back. This is swinging. This isn't around the body as much as it's out. Out from the body. Again, out out what does out mean it means the barrel gets to the ball with the hands still on that sort of left side of the midline the hands can stay up he's not down through the barrel is behind and up through the baseball the energy in the swing is behind the ball through the ball through the the ball's flight that that's our best that is our mid-season form. That is where we're trying to be now. So we make adjustments. That's the process. The process is not, all right, let's try to just increase our average uh, hard hits. You know, these ground balls, they're not hit very hard. Um, we need to turn later. No, it's certainly not that. So the adjustments, the attempted adjustments, and we're improving. We're still turning here. But we are making significant improvement. Significant improvement. We have much better barrel speed, much quicker barrel, barrel speed, much shorter barrel speed. We're doing a much better job of, of sort of getting the bat to work around the hands. We're letting the ball come towards us a little more. Yeah, we're turning a little bit here. We can do much better. We need a more opposite field approach. You can see we have a good opposite field approach here. We're not just turning to do damage. We're a good timing window. Here, here we're turning a little bit. The knees are turning, the shoulders are turning. And we're still trying to do a little too much. You know, a lot of eyes, we wanna hit some bombs, right? It's hard for a kid to really mitigate all those feelings. Um, it can be very difficult to, to relate to an athlete that your best power is coming from your timing and your smoothness and your approach. This is where your power is. This is effortless 430 plus feet, effortless, effortless. That's your best power. You're not going to athlete your power, sure. You may catch some, you know, average northeast pitching and send balls 400 plus feet. Sure, you did it to open the season. But if you keep jumping out there and trying to turn, you're going to be missing lots of opportunities. And you have plenty of scouts in the stands 
watching, waiting, and going, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Maybe the scouts know exactly what they're looking at. Maybe they don't. But every scout in the game knows when you're grounding out in a big spot and a ball that you should be connecting with. They want to see balls that should be hit get hit. They want to see that. Okay? Let's go back to the homer. He's not letting the ball travel. He's going after it, and he's turning big time. And those arms are getting really long, and they're plunging down. Nice home run. So adjustment, adjustment made. Hands are staying high, much higher. We're letting the ball come in a, a lot more. This is just normal overhand batting practice with some, you know, a much better approach and much more discipline. Again, adjustment still to be made to kill this forward move and this turn so that we can get in there a lot deeper than that. A lot deeper than that. All right? So that's just a quick look in on sort of the process and, and, and how you go about analyze what you're doing, what you've done, and to, to make sure that you are holding yourself accountable to, to showing up every day the best version of yourself. And it is a process. And for all the hitters out there, college or high school, the spring is a tight window. It's a, it's a condensed thing, and it's very difficult sometimes to get your groove. You have to control what you can control, and we can control. We can control. We're in control now, and we can control what we're doing. We can control those things there, right? Doing a little better job. Still, you can just feel the difference. This is still divey. Still trying to send it a little too much, buddy. All right. Stay tuned for the adjustments. Looking forward to posting that beautiful stroke. Looking forward to the show. Slamming Sammy. Go get it, bud.